Today we are building the best LEGO train layouts ever, from small models that can fit anywhere to a massive LEGO city. Here's everything you need to make the most realistic LEGO train layouts while exploring a modular LEGO city with a huge collection of trains. Let's get started with a very small LEGO train display. Most LEGO fans don't have the space they want. In fact, they have such a small shelf that it can't fit a LEGO train model. Well, it actually can. First, you will need this LEGO Creator train. You can see it's smaller than a standard LEGO train set. That's because it's nicknamed Narrow Gauge, aka it's smaller. Then we will need these pieces to create custom tracks. This can get expensive, but LEGO is not cheap. Then we will need a station, with level boarding and beautiful architecture. In fact, it's so small, the humans are these tiny things. Now, this is the perfect model for a small shelf, maybe a coffee table display, or even in the bathroom. Now I might have gone too far. Ok, but what if you want an actual LEGO train? By that I mean LEGO train sets. This is the LEGO Hogwarts Express, not the super expensive model, the not so expensive one. This model comes with a train and a station, so it can fit onto a medium sized shelf. However, if you want this train to run like a normal train, you'll need more. You see, the main problem comes with the LEGO track curves, they need space to well curve. This is where track planning comes into play. Why is it so important to do so? Well, if you don't plan, well, you might not have all the track you need. After all, usually most sets have more curves than straight pieces, leaving us with an excess of curves and a shortage of tracks we actually need. Furthermore, if we build the curves too tight, the train might derail, or if we do some weird shapes, the train might also derail. Now, some of you might be on the brink of desperation. You might be thinking, if I don't get this train designed perfectly, the world will end and my cat will become a professional skateboarder. Or perhaps you are contemplating, without the perfect LEGO train model, my house will implode and aliens will descend to question my fashion choices. However, I have the solution, Blue Brick version 1.9.1, where you could edit the layout of your city or use Brinklink Studio. However, Brinklink Studio can be a bit tough on beginners. It's like using a Ferrari to drive to the convenience store. Yes, it is a good car and very powerful, however, it might just be too powerful for what you're doing. But what is the smallest layout we can get with these curves? Well, basically, 77 by 77 centimeters, if we leave some extra space. If you look at the LEGO track portfolio, you'll find there are a lot of pieces, or at least there used to be. Straight, curves, switches, flexi track that nobody uses, crossover that doesn't exist anymore and will cost a fortune, and crossover switch, which is also mega expensive. However, there are cheap alternatives that are not LEGO, but they do work quite well with the LEGO system. They even have larger curves for huge models. Let's build a relatively small LEGO railroad model, utilizing the pieces we have. And we cannot forget the most important part, well, the train. LEGO currently doesn't have a dedicated trains theme, at least anymore. So some LEGO train enthusiasts will be disappointed when they found out their favorite retired set cost a fortune. This is because there are many train enthusiasts out there and not many LEGO train sets available currently. So LEGO should someday create a dedicated trains theme, right? Well, that is the thesis of my whole channel, basically. However, there are some options currently available. A more cooler option is building a train yourself. This is possible and it's called a mock. You can build and design whatever train you want, from cool locomotives to detailed coaches. However, if you are not the creative type, don't worry, as there are many talented designers out there that do not only want to share their creations, they also want you to build them. You can find such fan designs in websites like Brinklink, where you can download the studios file for free and then buy the pieces all on the same site. And there is also Rebrickable where you find incredible models. However, at Rebrickable, such instructions do cost money, but when the designer built such beautiful models, can you really complain? I did a video on this subject. If you want to find out more, I do recommend it. Soon you'll find you have more trains than track, 
don't worry. We can also add some city buildings, some cheap buildings that will add an extra flavor to your model. We can also add a train station, so our little model is looking great. However, what if we built a massive LEGO modular city train display? This is my LEGO city, it has a bunch of modular buildings, almost all in fact, and many, many, many LEGO trains. Let's start at the beach, where we have a nice landscape with the buildings in the background. Behind them sits my railway yard that is used for storage. Then we have the castle district, which is still under development, but houses this castle on a mountain. Then we have downtown. With so many modules, you can spend a full day looking at the small details. Utilizing the new base plates, I implemented a tramway system in my city and two custom trams showcasing different eras of tramway. This empty lot in the middle will be the future home to a church mock. Then we have Ninjago City, the technological hub of our city, that has a little cable car. Then we have a theme park, Legoland, with a roller coaster. So you can see the secret to a fantastic Lego railway model is having different forms of transportation. However, what if you want to build a layout like this? This is also fun and dandy, but you also need, well, somewhere to put your layout. Then we'll need the sets. Lego has these modular buildings, meaning you can create basically a city using these massive Lego models. The best part of these sets are the details and the architecture. Since these models are so detailed and good looking, they will cost you something. Additionally, you need roads, because where we are going, we do actually need roads, because we don't have flying cars yet. However, you have three options, the old base plates, the new base plates and mills, which are a system that is quite part intensive and allows for custom roads. Then we need more buildings, because if we just have modulars, well, every LEGO city is going to look the same. There are some ways to improve this by adding unique sets or mocks. Additionally, there are Brinklink Designer Program sets that are technically LEGO sets, however, they sell out quickly. Why? Because they are resold on eBay for an exorbitant amount of money that will make you wanna cry. But these are an option for the ultra rich. Okay, so we have the train, the modulars, and the auxiliary buildings, but something is missing. Of course, the tables. Unless you want bugs and cats in your LEGO city, now thinking. That would be quite cute and quite disruptive. My LEGO city is built on custom tables, which are not the best, but there are many options. If you live in a country dominated by IKEA, not only can you enjoy delicious meatballs, but also furniture. They have a bunch of tables. Most LEGO fans use this, that I can't pronounce. You can also plan ahead using your LEGO planning software to know every detail. However, don't forget to add holes in the middle so you can pop up in the middle of your design and access every piece. Though there are some standards, I recommend extending your arms out and measuring them. Then double that size, then comes the base plates, where you can attach the track and other stuff. Some LEGO fans with a lot of money do custom ballasting, aka those rocks that go below the track, creating a realistic and expensive model. But how do you get LEGO pieces for cheap? Well, there is a super powerful way that might seem ordinary. Lego pick a brick wall. Picture this, you walk into the store, your eyes widen as you behold the majestic pick a brick wall. You grab a cup or now a cardboard box and approach the wall. Then you grab one piece and another one and another one and another one. Finally, your cup is filled to the brim. So let's take a last look at my gigantic Lego city with trains. There's so much here, so my friends, we have taken a look at how you can build your own train layouts. However, if you want to see some awesome fan-made models, click this video on the screen right now.